Hi, and welcome to a fan-made tutorial on how to install UpDeck. Uh, you're going to start by going to 8up.uk, 8up.uk, and this is the web page that will greet you. Um, and this tells you about how great it is, but you want to head over to the Docs tab here. This will be useful for you as you create all of your buttons, but start with getting started. Uh, there are three main steps that we need to take to get ready uh, to be able to use up deck. So follow along here. Uh, start by downloading the up deck desktop app. Choose your operating system of choice. I'm doing this on Windows. You choose where to download the file to, save, let it download, pop it open. Windows may try to protect your PC. If so, choose more options and but anyway. Uh, go through the settings. I don't want a desktop shortcut install. I already have it installed, so it's asking me to close the program. So I will. Finish. Great. Done. It's installed. So, once it's installed, you can run the program wherever you had it installed. And you'll get two windows open up here. You've got the Love Console, which will give you a bit of information about what's going on. It's great for debugging to make sure that things are working. And this, which is the Up Deck window. Um, you're going to want to double click and it will pop open. Let me just drag this next to it. Uh, this window, this browser window for you when you click on the Up Deck app. So clicking on this pops open this. These are the basic settings uh, to get started. You want to leave the ports where they are. You want to set yourself a password. You choose a password that makes sense for you. I've chosen a password that works for me. Timeout is how long for your mobile app to not respond before it disconnects. If you set it to zero, it'll just wait forever, which is great if your phone has a tendency to go to sleep. Um, but if you're worried about staying connected forever, you can set a timeout. It's in seconds. Uh, there's handle SFX and debug. I would select handle SFX because eventually if you're trying to use the sound feature and you haven't checked this, you're going to be in trouble. Debug will spit out extra information in this love console. Useful if something isn't working, you don't necessarily always have to have it connected. Now you're going to want to hit save. Files will pop open a window with uh, the location for your updeck files if you ever need to access that. Next, now that you've got your password chosen, you've set a timeout or not, web UI settings is for if you're trying to connect remotely. That's a separate thing that's not going into this tutorial. So you've saved. Good. Great. Next, you get the LUA script. This, again, from the website, it's download the OBS LUA script. Hit that button. It'll pop open a save file. You choose where to save it. Save. Great. Next, go into your OBS. So if you haven't launched OBS yet, uh, make sure you pop that open. Uh, and once you have that open, that should be on top of my title, sorry about that. Um, you're going to want to go to Tools, Scripts. So that's a menu within OBS that, once you open it, is going to look like this, which also looks like the window they have in this uh, doc on the website. Um, but you aren't going to have this information entered. This is what it's going to actually, you're not even going to have that. So. I'm going to go find where you put your script, which in this case is over here. So you're going to go find the script where you downloaded it to, select it. But what's important, and this is the thing that everyone misses, is the message path. That you get by over here. When you press save, it automatically copies the message path to your clipboard. So you can go ahead and paste that into message path and there is where you will save yourself the question that everyone comes in asking. Why isn't UpDeck working? Again, press the save button. 
it copies it, you paste it, you're good. So you can go ahead and close that. Now an issue that I have particularly run into is that I tend to use quite a few scene collections, uh, which is just under my mouse here, that menu in OBS. Uh, and sometimes OBS doesn't remember that you loaded a script into your other scene collection. So uh, you'll want to make sure if you've switched to a different scene collection and it stopped working, go in, make sure that you have the script and the message path installed. This is OBS's side, this is not Updeck's side. Um, but for now, you've done this step, you're good, you're set, uh, and you're ready to go. You don't need to worry about replay or SFX or any of that until you're ready to use those commands. Again, not covering that in this tutorial. Then you want to download the app on your device of choice. We're just going to ditch out that window and throw up uh, our device. Uh, so you're going to go over to your app store, in this case, uh, for me, it's uh, Android, I'm running it on Bluestacks, which uh, lets you emulate an Android environment, so you search up deck, as you can see I have already done, you find it, you would have a big download button, I already have it downloaded and installed. Download it, install it on your phone, your iPad, your old iPod whatever it is, or on your computer in a Bluestacks environment, and pop it open. It'll look like this. You will be able to assign your uh, device a name. In my case, I've called it Bluetooth, because it's my second instance of Bluestacks on my computer. It's just so that you know which device is connected, um, because you can actually have a dozen different devices connected to your up deck at once. Uh, for the host, you want to know what your computer's IP address is for um, local IP address, which if you aren't familiar, you want to open up your command prompt, type in ipconfig, and it will spit out your IP address. So it's that green highlighted line there, IPv4 address, and you're going to want to copy that into there. When I made that uh, picture, you can tell that I was at a different local IP address. But effectively, you're trying to get the computer that has OBS and UpDeck on it. That's the IP address you're looking for. So that is that. Once you've got that in, you also want to have the same password that you put in here in your website. Whatever that password is, you type in here, and then you press the little front arrow. Now at the moment, you're offline, and your UpDeck window has a little red circle so you hit connect or you hit off the offline button and then it will say connected and you'll have the green light here so you can exit which will disconnect you and then reconnect that's what that button does then here you'll notice that this has turned green because I am currently recording on OBS you also have a replay buffer and a stream command uh, you have volume controls, you can set it up such that it knows like your microphone, your desktop audio, etc. And you can control those through the app. You have your pages. Here you have 20 buttons and you have 25 different pages that you can swipe between. And to get past the first five pages, there is also this drop down menu. Uh, on the side, you have the ability to make a backup. This interacts with the replay feature, which isn't set up yet. This also this is to access files for replay, and this is the drawing feature, which at the moment is not working. Um, after that, you're effectively ready to... I'm just scrolling through the um, tutorial content on the website that I've skipped over here. Um, but you're effectively ready now to create buttons on your up deck. So, how do we do that? You go on the website, you go to deck buttons. Now, you would need to create a new deck. You would give it a title, my new deck. I'm not going to save it because it's a pain to get rid of them. Um, I'm going to head into my up deck tutorial, which is currently blank, and choose a button. We're going to make button one device. You're going to choose which device you want to affect. At this point I only have one device connected, so I select it. If you try to do that when you don't, when you aren't connected, you won't have an option, so make sure that you go ahead and connect and then hit refresh and it'll be able to find the other ones. 
Uh, you're going to give it a label, uh, show IP group uh, is an option so that it can toggle, you know, if you have a group for all of your um, videos, you know, you could have a video group, so you could have video one, two, three, four, and it would highlight only one in the group at a time. But for now, we're not going to deal with the group. You can choose a highlight color. Um, so that's often useful when you're in a group and you're trying to only have one state at a time. Uh, so then the way commands work, where is that here? Um, the way commands work is that you have a title line or description. This can be whatever the heck you need it to be to tell you what it does. Uh, turn on IP. Then the command, this is called show which is covered in one of the docs. Then you choose, uh, you put start putting in the parameters. So I'm gonna hop forward to the show doc. As you can tell, there's a lot of content in this website. Um, so you can always head back to the docs. There's a lot of different buttons that you can create, but I'm going to do the show. So showing and hiding scene items. Um, so it looks like this. Now if you copy paste from the website, it's going to add lines between everything, which is no fun. So be careful, feel free to just make sure that you clear the lines because you need to have everything in one solid block because it creates a new line as a new line of code, uh, a new block of code. So show value equals one for yes, zero for no and asterisk for toggle scene now you can put uh, my scene is called install and then you put the name of the item ip there save so if i do this it's going to pop that up but it's not going to hide it because it doesn't have an asterisk so i can go over here change that to an asterisk save it again and it'll show and hide it and here's the big thing that isn't really it's somewhere in the docs but it's not necessarily apparent to everyone. You can do current, um, which is a good default uh, because then you don't have to worry if you change the name of your uh, scene. There's also all, which will change, which will affect the parameter in all scenes, um, which also works. And then there's previous, um, which is good if you ever wanna go, go into a scene and go back that won't do anything because this isn't the previous scene. Um, there are so many more tips and tricks out there, but that's already more than you needed to get started. If you ever have any questions, you want to head over to the support tab and head into the community discord. There are some awesome people there. They aren't necessarily there 24 seven, but there are enough of us globally that you should be able to get an answer within a few hours. So thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Remember that if you set it all up and it isn't connected, you wanna make sure that you hit save and paste that into your scripts message path. Thanks for joining me. Good luck, have fun.